Have you ever asked Solange about the, ele the elevator fight with Jay-Z? No, I haven't. I've never asked her about it. Um, you know, I've said uh, numerous times on interviews, I, I, I really cracked up laughing because I just know Solange and her personality. Um, you know, she's a firecracker at times. Don't know if she got that from her mother or from her father. That's up to all of you. The i like for you to just uh, text in or uh, on your social media. Who do you think Solange got her personality from? Her mom or her dad? And the, answer, saw the, and the answer is. <laughs> well, when you saw that video for the first time, what was your reaction? I told you, I started laughing. I thought it was funny <laughs> as hell. I mean, that what was, was funny, funny was also, you know, the personalities. You know, Beyonce is there, all calm, uh, collective. And, and, you know, they're, Jay and Solange are having their differences. And then it's lights, camera, and it's time to go to work. Right, and Jay-Z was actually dodging her attacks pretty well. Like, he was really kind of kind of smooth with it. Well, I think that's what a man is supposed to do in that case. Uh, yeah, I, think I, he, I agree. I think he did what a man should do. Well, on a more serious note, you recently announced that you had breast cancer? I prefer to use the word chest. I just don't think that's appropriate word uh, for a man to use. Uh, I think it's also, in a way, disrespectful to women. Uh, and it certainly is the number one reason why men are so hesitant to go to the doctor regarding that issue. But yes, in July, um, you know, just simple drop of blood, one drop of blood on my, my T-shirt for three or four consecutive days. Uh, I then told my wife, I said, look, you know, this little speck of blood. And she said, you know, on our sheets, when I'm cleaning the sheets, I just saw... I didn't think much of it, and some blood, and so I went immediately to the doctor. I had ironically sold mammography equipment for eight years in the medical division of Xerox, and so I understood uh, I have a family history of breast cancer in, on the female side of my family. I was aware of that, um, and so I immediately got a mammogram, found out that uh, I had cancer, and immediately got it removed. Uh, fortunately, it's stage 1A, uh, so I'm grateful to say uh, today I'm uh, cancer-free. However, I found that I do have a gene, uh, we all do have this gene, everyone living, uh, BRCA gene, which is supposed to protect you against cancer and other diseases. Mine is mutated, of which 25% of the world is mutated, have mutated BRCA genes, which means for a man, you have a higher risk, not that you're going to have it, but a higher risk of prostate, pancreatic cancer, melanoma, and male chest cancer. For a woman, it means that you have a higher chance of breast cancer and ovarian cancer, and it's an easy $250 blood test. Uh, so on my father's side is prostate cancer. Uh, we're in a process that try to understand which side of my family is this mutation. But I challenge every and anyone who's listening that know their family history and know that there's a history of cancer to get this BRCA test so that you can understand better. Well, yeah, I've had skin cancer before. Uh, maybe about seven years ago, I had like a little red spot uh, on my face, like on my cheek. And I just thought it was, I don't know, acne or something, but it wasn't going away. And when I went to a skin doctor, they took a test and they said, oh, that's skin cancer. We've got to operate tomorrow. And, you know, luckily with skin cancer, it's relatively easy. If you catch it early, they just cut it, cut it out, uh, which I guess was a similar process because you're now cancer-free, right? Cancer-free today. I, I, I put emphasis on today because uh, cancer can always creep back in an ugly way. So uh, I, I, I keep that in mind. I, I have to say, though, uh, Vlad, when you say you know, I said melanoma is one of those uh, symptoms of a BRCA um, mutation. So I, 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 as a friend, uh, I asked, would you please go and get a BRCA2 blood test? Uh, yeah, I mean, I actually did take a bunch of cancer tests and screenings and everything else like no, that. No, I'm being specific ago. here. As a friend, okay. please go take a BRCA2 blood test. Let me write this down. B-R-A-C-A.
blood test. Done deal. Thank you. I'm going to do it this week. Thank you.